Abe got good idea. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Pro streamer. You'd think so. We're doing episode 18. Six months in almost. Yeah, I'm still a noob, dude. So how about we get into a bit of coding? A little bit? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I've been preparing a few enemies. I don't know if you remember. I, I'm going to show you that. See, so he's just flying around. Because now he's in patrol mode, but he could be in static mode or fire barrage mode. And of course, if he sees me, he detects me and shoots. He dies, explodes into pieces, like for the, all the other bots. Remember, that's our, how all the bots die. That's the first one. Fancy, thank you, Arkaz. That's the second flying enemies. We, we didn't have any flying enemies, guys. Everything was on the ground and we can fly. Yeah, talking about OP. So now we have two flying enemies that are gonna be everywhere on the map. Play free bird and then he throws his axes. But I can also, of course, kill him. And he falls on the ground. Dies, fade away, fade off like the others. Haven't seen one of these sessions before. Was kind of hoping for a turn down the volume lady enemy. is in there <laughs> right now we're working on the demo so it's gonna be the more arcadey version of the game for people who show up in the stream and it's gonna be available a little before the main game but the main game will have a story mode and there there's basically five different uh, levels in that story mode and each of them has a final boss and one of those bosses hey my fast streamer is on but I'm watching you in <laughs> You should be ashamed. All right? But, Rata, that was funny. <laughs> and finally, I don't have to go far. The third enemy was a super bot, another mini boss. <laughs> and the messages are random. <laughs> so now he says, I'm so lonely, but sometimes uh, I hope it's gonna be the different ones. <laughs> Copy strike. Want some crypto? So that's another mini boss battle that we have in the game. Remember the previous one was the super troll throwing the biohazard icon or symbol as a flying guillotine weapon. Well, now we have this second one. So yeah, those three things is pretty much all I've been doing this past week. What I want us to work on tonight is something fun. This. We now have, that's right, an inventory so yeah we have items well we didn't have last week it's all of all of what I'm gonna show you is completely brand new in the game but we're gonna deal with different items that do different things health items weapon oriented items and whatnot and all of those are stored in your inventory right well it's Dovidas so your inventory is a cooler bag <laughs> because of course it is the multitude of easter eggs and memes in this is beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, cooler bag, that's your inventory. And you have your, your different items. But instead of just feeding you the items, I added an extra layer. Because what you're gonna find is not the items themselves, but elements to craft them. So it's just one extra step, essentially. But it's fun to, to, to add that one more layer to the gameplay. So essentially in medium gray, I guess? those six items over here are usable items and those six bottom ones are not usable they're just crafting elements that you're gonna find after killing an enemy sometimes there's gonna be crates that are gonna give you a little bit of loot freeing a civilian from a lockdown cell might give you a reward that that sort of stuff and with those crafting elements you can combine them minecraft style and create one of the usable items pretty straightforward and those two in the middle are both they are base ingredients that you can use to craft uh, this one I'll show you but also you can use them directly so you can just pop a strawberry it, it'll add a little bit of health you can pop a blue milk carton it'll give you a little bit of health however if you craft a milkshake with three strawberries and a milk then it gives you a milkshake, and this is gonna fully replenish your health bar. So for each item you have the name, what it does, fully restores health, and a little easter egg text, in that case, keep your milkshake in your cooler bag, and when consumed, your health will be back at its finest. Milkshake Versace Diamond, oh my world, Mardrip, 
and Arca's pick, you saw them, and Unboxed Box. So let me give you a quick tour of the items. So we have the Milkshake, gives you a full health bar. We have the Energy Shield, it's gonna give you a blue extra health bar under your main one. That's just it. And when this one is completely run out, now you're actually taking damage, pretty straightforward. Then you have the Anti-Gravity Boost, it just gives you longer flight time because it's gonna be limited. For now it's not, but it's going to be limited in the end. Then we have the Stello Pick, crafted by Arcos. So the text is less guitar overheat. That's what you get with the pick. If you use one of those picks for a temporary period of time, you can uh, shoot the guitar spread and it's not gonna overheat your guitar as much. And the text is the legendary Stello Pick created by Arcos 55, grants Dovidas a far greater playing speed. And you craft them with two armor plates because he, he makes them with stuff made for spaceship, which is true. And the exploding box effect kaboom. Some use grenades, some use dynamite. Dovidas only needs to throw a guitar box. That uses wood because wood, paper, cardboard, you know, some battery pack to create some explosive, you know, have some imagination, please. And the stone clock, so the text is, when about to die, those magical stone clocks invented by Jeremy will reverse the flow of time and give Dovidas another fighting chance. So it's just exactly what it says, extra life. Technically, this item, you can't really use it. You store it in your inventory and when you die, that happens. If you're equipped with a stone clock in that instance, the big clock will appear, the hands will go back in time, the notes will come back together, Dovidas, the player, reappears, and you can go on, you have an extra life. And then, of course, strawberry and blue milk just gives you a little bit of health. Here you go, I explained you most of it. Wordles, hello, my man, thanks so much for being here. What I want to do is do the clock. Okay, so now let's try to export it piece by piece. It's useful to have a template. That, that's a flex, that's a flex. I'm gonna be honest with you, that's a flex. You're using Photoshop, yeah, for to create some of the assets and, and the sprite sheets and a lot of stuff in the game, yeah, I'm using Photoshop. Because it's it's uh, entirely 2D, it's a 2D game. So everything is just, at the end of the day, a PNG or a sprite sheet of a bunch of images. So yeah, Photoshop is gonna be used a lot. If you deal with 3D games, you're going to be modeling um, 3D models, you're going to be sculpting, modeling, texturing. If you do a 2D game, it's mostly going to be some kind of image software, Photoshop or, or another. So we're going to try to preload that into the game and see how that goes. Well, the best I could do was a picture of Walter holding a baguette, <laughs> wearing a French hat and with the Eiffel Tower in the background. Hey, well, that's a star. That's a star. Sacre bleu. That's the shit. Come on, baguette, beret, Tour Eiffel, it moustache. You got the seal of approval. <laughs> Rata, show me Twitch. I use GIMP. Well, that's a good alternative from what I hear. I never used it myself. Uh, oh, hold on. Are you fucking with me? Or, or am I tripping? GIMP is a real thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I prefer my GIMP while I'm in <laughs> my GIMP suit. That's why I was like, isn't there another thing called GIMP? What is a GIMP suit? Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's why for a second my brain said, hold on, hold on, because <laughs> it's Krim, <laughs> and I know he likes to fuck with me, <laughs> and, I, and before I jumped into, yeah, yeah, the software GIMP, my brain was like, hold on, I think we have something in the database where it, it's it's also something very fucked up. <laughs> my trolling has lead to distrust. <laughs> exactly. No, 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 wait, 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 it's Krim. <laughs> It seems too easy. <laughs> there must be something. It always takes me to that scene in Pulp Fiction, the game, right? Zed is dead, baby. Zed is dead. So we have our shit. Let's load it. One step at a time. Baby steps. Baby steps, guys. Come on. Right. We're gonna set its anchor point to 0.5 and 0.5, which would be right in the center. We're gonna do SC ref X equals game camera. X plus game camera width divided by two question mark and that would be similar for the Y except it would be height I have no idea if that's the correct terminology
please clap. Thank you, Gooch. Yay! Now we just loaded the ref, though. But it's it's pretty straightforward from there. Now we're just gonna have the background and the little axis. Here you go. We're gonna load the hands. So for now, they're all gonna be, you know, on literally midnight or noon. Okay, so the anchor point. It needs to be one on the vertical axis. Oh yeah, no, it works! Oh, this shit, shit is gonna be easy. Ooh, ooh! Oh, this is gonna be great, come on. Yeah, no, too easy. Come on, give me a challenge. I'm kidding, don't. Okay. Great! Working perfect. Okay, so how about I'm gonna try something stupid. Angle plus equal one? Would that work? Yeah! Well, in our case, what we want is that. Because it, it needs to go backward in time. Oh, that's gonna be dope, dude. Now you know? And then you do the same for the minutes, but at a different pace. Like... Well, oh fuck, we would need to make it 60 times under that. Like, I would need to do that. Right? Yeah. Yeah, oh! That's actually kind of cool. The master of time and space. The Time Lord. Thank you guys. Right? And now we can even throw the, the hours. And this one is gonna be a 60th of one. We can do that, we can do that. 0, 0.0. Okay, that might be a little too precise. It actually works. But there's a point where the second spins so fast that you, you could use um, an optical illusion and like reduce the the, the speed and it, it would still work maybe I don't know I will adjust that anyway but like Davida says <laughs> something like that <laughs> when you die stone clock pops up on pops up on the screen like that we're gonna reduce the size a little bit then I guess it goes away the notes come back or maybe it's in the background oh yeah let's try that See? And we could even like um, have half opacity. It's more like it's in the background, you know, it's doing its thing. It's kind of a metaphorical thing going on. I don't know. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean? Like maybe the opacity actually shifts a little bit, like something mystic, fantasy like, you know? On that Sigma grind set. Didn't you have an OBS trigger for that? Oh, I have a few. I can like say, when I step in a room, all eyes on me. <laughs> okay, we're gonna need a variable for the status of that clock. So we're gonna call it stone clock status. Stone clock status, okay? And then right there, we can just say if that status is, I don't know, active, then first we show it, right? But if I do this, it's gonna be still. It's not even gonna be there because I didn't even update the position. Yeah, yeah, no. So what I need to do is uh, on death, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we're gonna do status equals active. So right now we have nothing, but if we die, boom, it appears. First step, simple shit. It's gonna be fancier than that. It's not gonna just appear. It's gonna fade in. We could do that actually. Hold on. Right, we have that. Max opacity. Ooh, we're cooking. We're cooking. So we send SCBG and 0.5 is the max opacity. We do that for all five. And now there was a little fade in. It comes in instead of just blinking into existence. Would it make sense to wind the clocks to 3 a.m. because I can't sleep? Please clap. 
That's a dope one. That's a dope one, bro. I'm writing that down now. All right, so that would give us notes, don't clock, and then there's a, the notes disappear, the character appear. That, but way fancier. Hey, Kaden! Thanks so much for being here. Love you, man. Hope you're doing well in the friend. <laughs> so, what I just did, did it do anything? Yeah. But. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Why do I sound like a fucking ape? Ooh, 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 ooh. Ape got good idea. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So. Now it's gonna be better because we die and now it's gonna be the, the player is gonna fade in instead of just You know what I mean? But I, I want a little delay. Okay, 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 okay. We're making progress, baby steps. That's looking good. This is looking better. Good, maybe not, but yeah. <laughs> Return to more. <laughs> Clock appears, it stops, and boom. Well, maybe you should. St oh, oh! oh. <laughs> I have even a better idea. Are you ready, guys? Ooh! Inspiration. The nine dragons are talking to me. What I want is first the clock goes as it should go, but then boom, it stops, right? And it goes back. Maybe stops uh, at, at a previous value like we have here, and then it appears. Does it make sense? Uh, okay, 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 so we, We're gonna need multiple statuses essentially Oh, <gasps> That's how I'm gonna use your ooh Ooh, I got it. Ooh, 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 ooh. I got it. I got it dude. Fro, I got gotcha. you That's how I'm gonna use the 3 a.m. I knew there was a way to, to use it that made sense with my previous idea It's gonna be 3 a.m. Shtoom and go back in time. It's 3 a.m. I can't sleep, right? <laughs> what I want is the, the seconds go clack and then both go together at clack, right? 3 a.m. And then some kind of sound effects. It goes backward, stops randomly, whatever. And then we got the rest going on with a fancier look, but that, that's for later. I'm very, very impressed with the progress. Good job, man. Thank you so much, Kaden. Thank you. Let's see how that goes. Right? That's kind of how it works with the clock. Right? Good night, everybody. Good night, Joe. Thank you so much and have a good time. That's it. Now I'm happy. We're gonna finish on that, guys. I love Archie.